Welcome back to our program, and we are ending the show uh, talking to you about this event that's happening this weekend. Kasama natin si Esteban, who's the general manager and instructor of IMB Academy in Torrance. Please invite all our Kababayans that are watching to be part of this family event, really, yeah. that's happening this weekend. So it'll be uh, this uh, Monday, uh, sorry, May 13th, 2017, in Torrance, California. Uh, we'll be starting promptly at 10 a.m. It'll be a most all-day event, and there's going to be a, a good display of Filipino martial arts, and again, you know, celebrating the life and legacy of Sigung Richard Bustillo. All right. So as we talk about Sigung Richard Bustillo, if you would, could you just share some favorite memories with Sigung? Can you share, Nicole? Absolutely. Um, so I had the pleasure of working for Seagung for about a decade now um, before he passed away. Um, so I kind of got to see him in a different light than a lot of people because I was behind the scenes working with him um, kind of from a business perspective. And what I would say about that is, um, you know, he ran a very tight ship. He didn't love spending money. Um, but the one thing he was always very generous with was donations. So anytime anybody would come in and they were in a little league or something like that and they were asking for a donation, he was so generous and he, he donated very willingly and generously to everybody. All right, thank you for sharing. Rick? Yeah, I, um, I've been training with Richard for 17 years. He's like a kuya yeah, to you. Yeah, so he was from um, Hawaii. So and we, so are so you. We had a Hawaii bond. But um, I enjoyed times where, where uh, we'd be in the car listening to some Hawaiian music. Um, Israel Kamaka Viva Ole, who had passed away, but we would love listening to the old times and talking story. Yeah. We did in, in, in times of, of, as young kids, and uh, those are very special times. So I really enjoyed that and would yeah. miss them a lot. Okay. Can you share with us um, the times that you did get to hang out with Sigong? What do you remember most? Well, what I remember most about being with Sigun was like, I would mess up a lot, regardless of if it was in martial arts or just <laughs> being with him. Okay. So he would be like, I'm gonna knock you out, Zaldi. And uh, that's like basically all my memories of Sigun was him telling me he was gonna knock me out or telling me to go do something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Pretty nice. laughs> and now you look back on it like, wow, you know, now I appreciate it, right? Yeah, I definitely appreciate it. It was, I I'm very grateful that I've had the opportunity to train with Sigun Richard Basio. It was. Like, it, it was literally life-changing. Yeah. It was a great opportunity. Thank you, Zaldi, for sharing. Jeff? I think um, the annual Christmas parties that we always had every year, that was, I think, stood out the most to me. That's when all the families, all the members would come together and we just celebrate, just have a good time. You know, it, it was just family Christmas parties, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Fiona, I know that you recently just started training, but what is your memory of Sigung? Uh, he is the one who invited me to join the IMB Academy, and then that is it. I will train, and I be good. Yeah. <laughs> so it. he was the one who who encouraged you, diba? Yeah. Yung kaya mo to, kaya yes. mong gawin to, kasi <laughs> minsan parang kaya ko ba to? Nakaka intimidate din, diba? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ang gagaling nila, eh, no? Oh, oh kaya. <laughs> But he encouraged you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, tapos ano, di ba naglalakad ako? Mm. Tapos may mga lalaki, kailangan ko ng self-defense, kaya pumunta rin ako sa IMB Academy. Oh, para walang maka-mess oh. around sa'yo, di ba? <laughs> oh, tama. Okay, Mike, what is your favorite memory with Sigong? Um, my favorite memory is um, after training really hard for a few weeks for the World Championships in Cebu, um, he gave me a really good fatherly hug. And uh, I was happy to bring back champions to championships to him and to IMB Academy. All right. We are so thankful for his teachings, for his legacy. He's impacted so many lives. And we want to pay tribute and honor the work of Sigong Richard Bustillo. As we end our program today, this is in memoriam of his amazing life here on Earth. He will be missed. And uh, let's watch this. Para sa inyo po, mga kababayan. Today on Kababayan Today, we pay tribute to a man gone too soon, legendary Richard Bostillo. Richard Bostillo was the founder and chief instructor of the IMB, or the International Martial Arts Boxing Academy in Torrance, California. He's an original student of the legendary Bruce Lee and a founding member of the Bruce Lee Educational Foundation 
or Jun Fat Jet Kundo Nucleus Board of Directors. A native of Hawaii, he began training in judo at the age of eight before later taking on boxing. While a college student at age 19, Richard competed in boxing tournaments, such as the Golden Gloves, the Silver Gloves, Blue and Gold, and other amateur boxing shows for Shaw's Boxing Gym in Los Angeles. At age 24, Richard studied Jet Kundo under the legendary Bruce Lee at the Jun Fan Gong Fu Institute in Chinatown, Los Angeles. In 1967, with training partner Dan Inosanto, Richard researched and studied the Filipino martial arts of Kali, Eskrima, and Arnis. Richard and Dan are currently credited and honored worldwide for reviving and perpetuating the martial arts of the Philippines. In 1976, Richard was promoted by Sifu Inosanto to senior instructor level in Bruce Lee's Jun Fan Jet Kundo. Together, Richard Bustillo and Dan Inosanto founded the Filipino Cali Academy, which eventually stands today as the IMB Academy located in Torrance, California. Richard Bustillo has been the recipient of many martial arts Hall of Fame awards, including the following. Black Belt Instructor of the Year for 1989, World Martial Arts Pioneer Award in 1995, International Martial Arts Master Instructor Achievement in 2000, Filipino Martial Arts Lifetime Achievement for 2000, three-time U.S. Martial Arts Most Distinguished Martial Arts Legend in 2002, Martial Arts History Museum for the Pioneer Award in 2002, Budokan Grand Master Award in 2003. Richard was also featured on the front cover issues of 37 martial arts publications around the world. When Mr. Bostilia was not coaching or officiating boxing or kickboxing or conducting martial arts seminars around the world or abroad, he served his community as a detective lieutenant assigned to the Major Crimes Bureau of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Reserve Forces Bureau. Investigator Bustillo was also a former reserve sergeant with the Emergency Service Detail Marine Reserve Co. 218, a search and rescue team of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Richard was awarded the Most Distinguished Service Award after his 30-year retirement from the Sheriff Department. In behalf of the Filipino-American community, we pay tribute and honor to Mr. Richard Bustillo who will be remembered fondly and missed dearly.